Hello fellow mega lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm super excited for this video because I'm going to be testing out the Physicians Formula, the Gold Vault palette which released recently. When I saw this, I just thought it was so beautiful and I just love all the gold colors. I was so curious to test it out. It comes with a bronzer, a highlighter, eight shadows, and then a mascara as well, which I believe is supposed to be gold. So I was just super drawn to this and I really wanted to compare it to some of the shades in the Natasha Nona Gold palette just because this is so affordable and some of the tones looked similar. So today we're gonna go ahead, just talk about it for a moment, do some swatches, I'm gonna try an eye look, and then I'm gonna do some comparisons at the end and just see if it, if any of the shades end up being anywhere close to the Natasha Nona Gold palette just because they're both completely gold-based color schemes. So that was the first thing that I thought of, although to be fair, there are no true mattes in this palette. There are some shades that look a little bit more like kind of a satin, and then there are some more metallic glittery looking shades, but no mattes, which is kind of a shame. I wish that there was like at least one matte brown in here that would really make it so much more versatile, but I'm super excited to test out the shimmers. I've never tried any eyeshadows ever. Well, actually, maybe I tried eyeshadows from Physicians Formula like seven years ago or something but it's been a really long time so i haven't seen this palette in stores at all but i did just purchase it on the walmart website which i'll leave linked down below i think it was like nine dollars and some change and i think it is on the physicians formula website now so i'll leave that link down below as well if i can find it so let's just go ahead and jump right into some swatches all right so we're gonna go ahead and do the bronzer and the highlighter first which the bronzer is like a satiny shade as well. And the highlighter for me, that looks like it would be an eyeshadow. I've got cat hair in it. The shades don't have any names, but I'm just going to go ahead and swatch them in their rows like this. Just because I think that they're a little bit more coordinating. So they do feel soft to the touch that that one right there looks more like a topper I was super excited about that shade just the way it looked in the palette they're soft but almost not powdery but just like there's a little bit of texture to them Ooh, that's really pretty those two look nice So those ones are more just true satins, but they've got good pigment. So there are all the shades. I mean, you definitely do have a variety of different golds. And I could see someone having this in like an all matte palette and like being able to make a lot of looks. And if you're a neutral lover, why that would work for you. Um, like I said, I mean, this shade honestly is so satiny that kind of almost looks matte. Maybe I'll try and use these two as a matte and just stick to just this palette for the sake of the video. Can I swatch mascara? Is that weird? <laughs> okay, let me just... Oh yeah, so it's like a tr super bright kind of gold. That's really pretty. I'm excited. I've never used gold mascara. I'm going to go ahead and start off with this lighter satiny brown right here. And I did already prime my eyes with the Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in the shade Illustrate. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush that I hope was clean. Was it clean? Let me, let me restart. It is kind of weird dipping this into the pan just because the pan is like above the palette. But I'm going to go ahead and just tap out my eye primer so it's not creased at all. And throw that shade right into my crease. I mean, it has the tiniest little hint of sparkles. So if you were looking for a full matte shade, I wouldn't recommend this, but it looks all right. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the darker satiny shade. And that shade on a smaller little fluffy brush and I'm just gonna try and add a little bit of depth to the outer V. Definitely looks pretty shimmery right now. <laughs> All right, so for the outer half of my lid, I really want to go in with this shade right here just because I thought it swatched really impressively. I'm just going to go ahead and tap that on. I'm just using a dry brush just to see what it looks like. That looks pretty. It's definitely picking up and applying and everything. Let me just try with my finger.
but that looks really nice actually. So I picked up a little bit more of that. I'm just gonna spray my brush just to see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good too. All right, so now I really wanna go in to this lighter shade right here just because I think it looks so pretty like as a color, but it's swatched just kind of sheer. So I think I'm gonna pick it up with my brush, which already is wet, so it's picking up okay. But I'm gonna spray it and just see if I can get maximum pigmentation because I really like the idea of this color. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It's a really interesting shade. And then just on the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up with my finger again. Just to see. Yeah, I definitely recommend that one with a wet brush. All right, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this golden shade right here. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that along the entire thing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the inner corner type shade right here, which I'm so excited is in here. Oh, that picked up really, really well with that dry brush too. I'm just gonna pop that on. Ooh. I like it. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some black liner in my waterline, and then I'm gonna use the Too Faced Pattern Sex Mascara to do my upper lashes, and I'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and try out this mascara. I'm super excited. I also love that it's in a small size just because I feel like colored mascara is normally kind of an accent. Like, I always end up throwing it on my lower lashes, so it's nice to have a small size just because it's not something most people, especially not me, would use every single day. Like, I have a, a blue mascara I've been using for the longest time, and I don't think I'll ever finish it. Even though I should probably get rid of it, because it's probably bad by now. I mean, it's gold. <laughs> don't know how I feel about it, but it's gold. <laughs> Alright, so for highlighter today, I'm not going to use the shade that is, like, labeled as a highlighter, just because it's a little bit too dark for me. I'm just going to go back into that white shade I used for my inner corner and a smaller brush. It's actually the fluffy brush I was using before, but I just wiped it off, and I'm gonna use that as my highlighter. It's a little bit more sparkly, so it's definitely gonna add some texture. I think I might go over that with something. I just wanted to give it a shot. I'm gonna go into my uh, Ofra Times March Beauty Word highlighter just because it's a lot more soft. Just kind of blend that over top. I feel like the lower lash lines tripped me out a little. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up lips with ColourPop Appy. All right, so this is the finished look. Before I give you my thoughts, let's go ahead and do some comparisons. All right, so here's what the two palettes look like next to each other. As you can see, there are definitely some similarities between the different shimmers. So I'm just gonna point out the ones I'm gonna swatch really quick. I'm gonna go into this white one first, and then obviously, this one here. So the Natasha Nona one is here and it's a little bit, I mean, you can see it's more of a slick, soft texture. And then here's the Physicians Formula, which is more powdery, but they kind of have the same reflex. I actually do really like the Physicians Formula one a lot. So there's Natasha Nona and there's Physicians Formula. Next, I'll do Lime Chrome, this shade right here, next to the little topper here, which, I mean, they're definitely not the same level at all. I prefer Lime Chrome 100%, but the one the Physicians, 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 I can't, I don't know why I keep doing that, but one of the Physicians Formula palette is pretty wet. Um, it's a cool color and it kind of has a little bit of like an electric-y, greeny, golden shift, so it's nice. It's just not the same. So there's the Natasha Nona, and there's Physicians Formula. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do this bronzy shade next, and I'm gonna compare it to this bronzy shade. <laughs> so here is Natasha Nona, and here is Fishson's Formula. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and do this shade right here, which is called Brass, one of my favorite golds. It's super, super intense, and I'm gonna compare that to this gold, which actually, I mean, they're not the exact same, but I feel like Physicians Formula did a pretty good job Here's Natasha Nona, here's Physicians Formula. It honestly looks even more intense. Natasha Nona has a little bit more of a shift to it. It's a little lighter of a bronzy gold, but still both really pretty shadows. All right, so there's nothing that I really think compares with this one here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this really bright gold, and I'm gonna compare that to Oro in the middle here. So 
here is Physician's Formula, or sorry, Natasha Nona, and here is Physician's Formula. And then between the satiny shades, there's only one I really think that I can compare here. I'm going to do the darker brown next to this shade right here. So here's Natasha Nona, and here's Physician's Formula. Honestly, the satins look pretty close. So overall, I mean, it's an obviously not the exact same, but definitely similar vibes, and some of these shades look pretty good. Alright, so for first impression, overall I'm quite impressed with this palette. I think it's really nice, especially for $9. There's some really nice metallic shades in here. My favorites would definitely be the bright orange, this one, this one wet, and then the white here, and then I think that this would be really beautiful as an eyeshadow as well. So I think it's nice, honestly. So in the future, I would definitely use this with an all matte palette, or I would just use it as a companion. I wouldn't typically use this on its own, but I think that it's a really great option for the drugstore if you're trying to find something and get like a really intense, sparkly type of eyeshadow and you really gravitate towards gold. So this would be a really, really great palette to have. And even if you did what I did today, which is just like an all shimmer look and even if you do what I did today and just blend the satins out they blended really nicely it's just not my personal aesthetic I prefer more mattes in the crease but I do like the palette and I think that it does in some ways some of the shades are kind of similar to the National Gold it's obviously not the same it's a humongous price difference and this is my favorite neutral palette of all time but I think that this would be a fun kind of you know alternative for the gold palette and I think the mascara even though I already lost it, is a cute little addition. So that's my thoughts on the palette so far. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.